show off. Oh, what? Oh, we're, <laughs> we have anything to show off? <laughs> <laughs> Steven was talking as we were starting the recording. Uh, no, I don't think we do. But okay. anyway, episode 41. What's up? We're here. Hey. We're back. How's it going? Did you miss me? Yes, everybody did. <laughs> I was so tired. I'm actually tired right now. Let me turn my volume down a little bit uh, because I was up at 4.30 this morning to bring Tom to the airport because he's in uh, L.A. for L.A. Comic Con this weekend, and I had to drive him to the airport. So I've been up since 4 o'clock, 4.30, 4.30, which is why I told you if I was awake, I would do this. So Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. We did miss yeah. you. Never a goddamn dull moment. So here is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about... The uh, Bottleneck Studios ish uh, Pitch Turtle. We both got it. Um, we both got the clay edition, right? Yes. The one that looks like the Pitch Turtle, same color and everything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, breaking news as of 26 minutes ago uh, on the party wagon. So by the time this goes live, which I might try to put it up tonight, um, it might be a little bit old news, but uh, breaking news that even I didn't know. Uh, we'll talk about Granite State a little bit now that I'm back. Um, some fun, some things. And um, I just told Steven, uh, I was talking to my buddy Jay Shot, and I might I was going to share some non-turtle related story funniness uh, with everyone that we've had to deal with. Um, just for people that want to hear something, just fun, ridiculous story time of how uh, my, mine and Tom's lives are just like a fucking comedy sometimes that we have to deal with. So y'all are going to laugh. Steven already knows part of it, but he doesn't know all of it. So, okay. Yeah. Um, jumping right into it. Steven, did you open up your bottleneck ish? statue? I, to be honest, I probably won't. Okay. You haven't opened it at all. You haven't even seen it like out of the box in your hands. Oh, I, no, I've seen it pictures, but I opened the, the shipping box, but that's it. Look at this bad boy. This thing is, so heavy <laughs> wow like he's a big boy um i just recently got the new masters of the universe leo the stealth like the stealth leo and i expect him to be this big i thought it was going to be a normal pitch turtle yeah uh that's what we a lot of us i think did i don't think we read the the description very well <laughs> I mean, did you did you know it was going to be this big no i didn't I don't, none of us did like this came and all of us like shit our pants. I'm like, I'm glad I bought it now. Uh, because like this thing is gorgeous. Yes, it really is. I love it. Uh, unfortunately, some people have been reporting that their bow staffs have been coming, uh, broken yeah. in the package despite being incredibly well packaged. Uh, but I know that uh, they do, they are taking care of people that have some issues with those. So can't you just super glue it and call it yeah, a day? It is a very easy glue. I've looked at it like a very easy fix. I can understand the people that are like, "Well, I paid one hundred and ten dollars for this, or whatever how much it was." It should I shouldn't have to reglue it. Uh, if they're planning on reselling it at some point, if that's in the back of their mind, of course you'd have to want you'd want to be not be a dirtbag and disclose that information if you try to sell it to somebody. It's been repaired. Uh, but personally, um, just fucking glue it. <laughs> Don't waste somebody. We already had that long rant of wasting people's time um, yeah. on, at customer service. That is how I feel about this. But I'm telling you, man, like, just yeah. take it out. <sighs> Makes me want to buy another one. Dude I, dude, I know. When I saw the patina and bronze ones that came on that beautiful base, I'm like, fuck, <sighs> man. I should have went for the extra, like the extra splooge to get the base. Yes. The base Honestly, cool. I, but for me, I would get the bronze, but that's 750 bucks. I couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was so much. But imagine how fucking heavy that thing is compared to this. Yeah. This is, this is weight. This is so heavy. I mean, the box is heavy. Dude, I'm so happy. Like, I'm so, so this was, um, this was another peer pressure thing. So with the first turtle, um, the layered first turtle that bottleneck did, uh, I wasn't going to get it. I didn't care. And Oscar's like, you got to get it, man. You know, you want to get it. And he fucking peer pressured me. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Fine. So I bought it. His exact, his exact thing was like, if you don't want it, you can probably just make money off of it after you get it. Um, so I did get it. 
I did end up selling it at cost because I did not like, I did not want it. Like I got it and I was like, I don't, I opened it up, put it on the shelf. I'm like, I don't really, I don't need this. And I put it in with a trade at value uh, when I got my second sewer layer from NECA. So I just got rid of it. But now I've got another one. Thanks to Justin Ishmael. <laughs> so I got another one on my shelf. Uh, nice. So Very nice. Seems like I'm a nice guy, guy, I heard. Justin yeah. is awesome. Uh, I love the fact that I'm in a weird position where they don't ever think that they're like mini celebrities, but like people do kind of idolize these people for their careers because they get they bring them joy. It's no different than music. People create music. People idolize musicians. Um, like people look at these creators that are creating things that they love um, as like rock stars in a sense. And I, I just love that they're just like, you know, people are just super humble. And Justin yeah. Rules, um, uh, Kwong is really awesome. Uh, he's on the bottom of the box. Hopefully I pronounce his name right. I always feel super sketch when I, if I mispronounce people's names. Um, but he's really, really cool. We talk all the time. He gave me this amazing print from uh, the 1990 movie. That was all of them like on their studio chairs. And it was like the best quality I've ever seen. And same with, uh, I think, Robbie Wrist. He said, Robbie was like, yo, can you get me that get me that photo? Because he has the same photo that he signs for the celebration signings. But it's not as high quality. So that's really cool. I got I got a cool print of that. But all those guys are really cool. Uh, nice. They all they all went the Granite State. We hung out for a little bit. Uh, it was a ton of fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was jealous. I couldn't go. It was it was great, man. Uh, unfortunately, Pete got sick uh, and you didn't make it. And a lot, I know a lot of people came out for uh, for the potential that Pete was going to be there, but he wasn't doing well. He didn't feel well, so we didn't come out. Um, but it was it was great nonetheless. Uh, well. Uh, you know, Justin and, and Kwong were there. Uh, Trevor Zamet from NECA. Trevor showed up. Um, love love being able to talk with Trevor. We talked a lot about Star Wars clone troopers, which is something I didn't know that he was into. And it was like nuts because I don't collect stormtroopers, but there were, I, I specifically collected normal, sorry, not clone troopers. Yeah, I didn't collect clone troopers. I collected stormtroopers, all different colors. I customized them. I just loved having an army of clone of stormtroopers, which I ended up giving to Randy. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave Randy all my stormtroopers, but I can hope I can grab these without knocking anything over. Um, because I got so many turtles. I do like having I, I do have the season two bad batch. Um, I had season one bad batch that were the black and reds. I gave those to Randy, and then I was kicking myself because I'm like, fuck, I really like those. So I hunted down the, the the second season ones that came out with this new armor color. There's tech, and uh, I love oh, I love wow. the Bad Batch. So the Bad Batch stuff's awesome. Um, There's some of my favorite figures that 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 they put out. Nice. I'm not a Star Wars fan at all. I actually haven't watched any movies. You're a weirdo. Look it's at this. Okay. Look, look at Wrecker. Look at this. Wrecker's the big boy. He's got his blade. That is cool. Yeah, their helmets come off. Like, not a turtle toy, everyone. I love I love the Star Wars figures. So, And as a lot of people hear me bitch, I hate Hasbro figures because of those really shitty um, leg joints. Um, the, what are they? Thigh, thigh cuts? Thigh cuts. But, look at this. Hmm. Thigh cut, but it's hidden, baby! Look at that! <laughs> so... Super, super hyped on on this set. I love this set, and you can actually see on this one, thigh cuts on these guys too. But they do a pretty good job of hiding them. So that's my <laughs> excuse. Anyway, um, yeah. So we got talking about that at Grand State. That was really, really cool because I didn't know him and I, or you know, we essentially we click, click the same kinds of things amongst other little random, unique, crazy tidbits of those, like odd shit. So. It was cool. Grand State was great. Good. Wish you could come out. Um, your fellow Chicagoan came out. Mr. Joey Toitles, Ninja Toitles himself. Got some photos with him. Cool. That was great. I'm glad we finally got to meet each other. He was obviously rocking bull airs. That was great. 
A lot of bull airs, man. That whole convention. Holy I, shit. I actually need to order a set of bull air shoes. I haven't yet, but I need to. Dude. Yeah, dude. Holy shit balls. Let me tell you. It was crazy. I saw Kevin wore them. Kevin was always, always wears his. Everybody over there, like a lot of the Team Eastwind guys like to wear our stuff, which is really fun. It's an honor. Um, yeah. Nice. I was obviously wearing our stuff. A lot of people were there. Um, uh, like what we had, Kathy Warren was there rocking stuff. Joey, obviously. Danny Cordela was there. Um, Dan Gonzalez was there. Um, Sheldon. Uh, he's, these are all party wagon people and cool kids. Uh, Sheldon was there. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Godin, Godin, G O U D O N. I don't know if he watches this. I'm sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. He's from he's from Canada land. Uh, damn, there's there were just so many people. Was Evan? Belty, Belty was there from Puerto Rico. Was Evan? Evan Light was there. Yeah. Um, Evan was not wearing bull airs. I think that motherfucker was wearing Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's always always fun uh but evan was there emma was great um steve levine was there wearing his bull hairs <laughs> Dick townsend coleman rocking 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 some uh nice. who else was there she was judith judith was there judith was there yeah she doesn't wear she, she has her shoes in her collection those are a one of one those are hers so um but yeah overall it was really fun it was definitely a cool turtles convention um, I do have my complaints, but that's not anything that is like a big deal. Um, just things I wish it would have gone better. But um, we we had a lot of fun. We like being out there. We like having fun with everybody, and it was a ton of fun. So I'm glad everybody came out. I'm hoping next year is just as big, but we'll see. Oh, I mean, it was 40 years. So. Yeah. So man, it's tough because it, last year it was a bomb, in my opinion. The year before, we didn't have a booth, but we were there, and it was very similar. So it was very busy the first year we were there, we just kind okay. of walking around. So I think it's really cool. So hold on a second. Let's uh, pause this real fast. Sorry, everyone. We got to pause. April's calling me. Okay, and we're back for that brief moment. It was only five minutes for me, but nothing for y'all. Um, <laughs> had a dog emergency. I'm sorry. Bulldogs. Always something going on. So uh, everything's okay. Yeah, she has like a rash under her little corkscrew tail. Oh. We, and it, she was very dis she was in severe discomfort. So we had to like we didn't know about it, so we just had to clean it out with like medicated wipes and shit. Fucking okay. bulldog, man. She just turned eleven. Um wow. seven to eight years normally on a bulldog. So English bulldog. But wow. we're on right awesome. year eleven. There you go. So hopefully I'm many right. more. Yeah, so what the hell we were talking about before April rudely interrupted? Uh, about... <laughs> I think it was Granite State stuff, right? Yeah. I think we're kind of wrapped up on that. I guess we can roll into uh, some announcements and stuff. Let's get into the visual the visual aspect, visuals of uh, what we learned. Well, you said there was some announcement made within the hour. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. Let's see. What? That's funny. Here we go. Boom. This got announced. The yeah. Shredder's Revenge Ultimate Edition. So that, that is cool. I'm not buying it, but it's really cool. Yeah, it's got I mean it's really nice. It's got the expansion stuff with it, which I think is really cool. Um, but really the big pull for this, as we can see, is going to be the turtles themselves so you're going to get playmates turtles re-released with special deco on them which is not pixelated it's cell shaded that's what NECA should do just cell shaded ones just like this but NECA version it'd be fun if you look real closely on raf's head right here they forgot to photoshop the michelangelo foot behind his head that is funny <laughs> so that's uh really cool. I really like those. I almost bought it, but I did not. Because I don't yeah. need it. The only yeah. Playmates figures that I have on my shelf are the uh the redrops on card of the of the Playmates soft heads that they did. 
Those are the only <laughs> ones that I have on my on my wall now. All the rest of them have been taken down. They're all in a closet. It's like Bebop, Rocksteady, Shredder. Mondo oh, you finally took them down? All the other are just they're just in a pile. I just don't I don't have any room for them anymore. My shelf, my wall now is just all like more modern figures that are out of box, like Motu remastered, pizza shooters. Um, remember the, the fucking first turtles? Well, go make your your upstairs a turtle upstairs. I wish I could. That's April's horror room. She's gonna be putting all of her spooky stuff up there, but uh, that sucks. So yeah, that was one of the announcements uh, today, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, they forgot the best system. I don't know what. What I mean, I guess they're just targeting this towards kids, not adults. For some reason, <laughs> so got the PlayStation and the Switch. No, so, they're actually smart. No Xbox, so I guess adults can't get this. I bet, and I bet they're Apple fans too. Probably, you know, probably, probably, probably the whole trifecta of idiocy. Um, so then, <laughs> That's the reason why you didn't get it? Jumping into the next one, um, if I would have buy it, I'd buy it for the fucking Switch. Um, so we've got uh, Adam brought this up, talking about the unmentionables, and as you know, like I have done custom unmentionables. Yes, you have, and. I love the unmentionables. I have told Trevor multiple times we have to do the unmentionables. Um, they're just a lot of fun. I did Casey. I did. I didn't read the unmentionables. I just like the design. Um, I did whoever this is. I'm gonna go and say that's. Uh, go and say that's Donnie, and then I did this one, which I'm just gonna say is Leo. Um, I only did the three. I never did the other two. I actually never finished it because I could not figure out good bodies. For the two on the right. So okay. I never finished them. But uh, there's a comment made here. Oh, here's the customs that somebody did years ago, which are really cool. Yeah. That's nice. Really fun. Uh, but we're going to talk about this where Anders says, I saw Eastman a few weeks ago and he signed my copy of this issue. When he finished, he said, NECA is making this set soon. Oh. So, I know Trevor likes wa wanted to do these, so that's really cool. Um, we'll have to see what happens. That's very interesting. Yeah. So, I want to know what fun. other releases or an announcements they're going to make at NYCC. Yeah. So, if I was a bet man, um. They're, I think they're going to show off things that aren't turtles more prominently. I, I think we're going to see them bring the gargoyles display back. That's just a lot of like that gargoyles display is huge. Why would they ship that back to New York? Why would they ship that to New York Comic Con this year? Keep it for New York or for sorry San Diego. Keep it for New York. So we'll probably see some a lot of new gargoyle stuff. Um, I know that there is more turtles coming. Um, I know there's stuff that was not shown at San Diego. That's complete. That should be here soon. So, Tune, Archie, Mirage, um, all of the above. Archie, Mirage, um, a lot, of, a lot of Mirage. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe some last Ronin. What do you think their top sellers right now, Mirage? Their top seller to consumers or to man or to resellers, because uh, their top I mean, it's turtle really line. Same answer. I mean, it's the same answer as Mirage. Okay, uh, it's Mirage, Last Ronin, uh, Tune, and then probably Archie because Archie's still fresh. But Mirage goes to more places, so uh, you're you're gonna get way more of sales okay. in general. Just in general, like just because it's out there more, so they're more. If it wasn't selling, they wouldn't keep pushing out what they're doing. Here's a question for you. Why are the Fugly Xmas Turtles only a Walmart exclusive? Because they're uh, filed under movie. Oh, okay. Which I still don't have a set. You're still, it's still lost? Yeah. So for those who don't know, um, I ordered the set day one. Uh, it got delivered last Tuesday. While April was home, she was working from home that day. 
and I was patiently waiting. Uh, said delivered at 11 o'clock. My ring camera never went off, and I got home, and there was nothing there. And April, they got delivered at like 11.43. April went out to go do yard work on her lunch at 12 o'clock-ish, 12, 12.30, I think she said. Never a package. Never even saw the USPS person. Nothing. And whenever the USPS person shows up, they always slam our fucking mailbox and the dogs bark. Every fucking day. Nothing. So I had to contact Walmart, and I'm like, hey, what do I do about this? I have proof that it didn't get delivered to me. They delivered it somewhere else. I don't know where. There's no photo evidence. They don't take photos like Amazon, so I don't know what to freaking do. Um, so they emailed. Uh, uh, they said, "Well, because this is fulfilled by from a third party, because it's done by NECA directly, uh, we got to contact them." So they contacted them. They had me on the the chain, um, and said that they will be replying to me within 48 hours. And that was last Wednesday. So I followed back up with them on. Monday, I followed up with Walmart um, and said, hey, just letting you know, haven't heard anything back. Uh, then I followed up with NECA. I forwarded the email to NECA, customer service at NECAonline.com, and was like, hey, just letting you know, like, this is a pending situation. What can I do about it? Um, please let me know. And uh, still no response. That was Tuesday. So, so yeah, Monday. And then Tuesday. So it's now Thursday. Um, still no response. Um, yesterday, I texted Blaine. And I was like, what do I do here? <laughs> this is the <laughs> weirdest situation. I said, you know, I obviously want them. And, I mean, if Walmart's going to freaking refund me, just refund me. And I'll rebuy them. You know? Right. Like, like, I just don't want them to go out of stock, like, at any point. So I just still want them. So I don't want to, like pull the card and be like Randy what the fuck do I do um I like to leave him alone with a business we just talk about like horror stuff and there's you know normal friend things we don't talk about work um so like I try to keep that out of the conversations for almost everybody but Blaine Blaine always always likes to answer without a problem so he re very respectful about that so I uh, asked him and he has no clue so now we're just playing the waiting game right now I'm out 180 bucks that's terrible. A price plus ship. So now, sometimes if you go show proof of delivery, it might have a picture. Right. I I looked. I looked at everything. There's no proof of delivery. It okay. just says delivered 11:43 a.m. Now, if UPS or yeah, UPS or FedEx, whoever USPS. it was, it was USPS. They can check on their devices where they scanned it last. I bet they can. So they need to investigate that. But they they. Like, where they scan it last? They supposedly at my door, but I the, the other pro only problem is is I haven't gone to my neighbor to ask about it because my neighbor this happens quite often. Um, they've del they always order Amazon stuff, um, and every once in a while our Amazon gets delivered over there, and they steal it. Ah, oh. so. Like, if my neighbor got it, it's gone. Like, I'm not getting it. There's no reason for me to go over there because every time I go over there to ask him for my package, which I have proof from Amazon that it's there, they don't answer their fucking door or their ring camera. Your neighbor sounds like a jerk. Well, they have my fucking they have my phone number too. It's like it's a two family home. It's a one it's one family, but it's like a two family home because it's so big. And it's uh, an older lady who is um, dying. She's in like a hospital bed or whatever. She still kind of gets out. The there's the the husband who is you know they're they're in their like late sixties maybe, um, and I talk to him every once in a while like he just had his fucking car broken into because he parks on the damn street in the city, so like he had a window broken. It's like I was shooting shit with him the other day being nice, and then they have a daughter who is just kind of your kind of a trailer trash lady. Okay. Um, yeah, I got blessed with great fucking neighbors, um, but hmm. yeah, how they afford to live in this area blows my oh. I mean, how they live, they, they, they their parents grew up there. So, like, they, they inherited the fucking house. Yeah, yeah. So, they don't take care of it. Uh, and they keep getting in trouble because it's a historical house and the city keeps yelling at them because they don't take care of it. Um, but anyway, my fucking turtles are missing and I'm pissed. 
because I just want them. I just, I just want them. I'm not going to be a bitch about it. I'm just really upset. I just want them to show up. Give me my damn turtles. Yep. So tomorrow, call Walmart, Walmart and be like, um, I want my money or I'm just going to do a chargeback. Yeah. I mean, I might have to. So. Yeah. I understand if they got to if they got to file a claim with USPS. Like, I get the whole process. I have to do it for work. So. I understand like the process of like, well, we got to file a claim, confirm that it wasn't delivered. Then we got to get the money back to the, you know, to the merchant. And then we can re then you can refund it like a fucking 60 day process. I know how it works, but whatever. So yeah, I don't have them. Yeah. That sucks. Sorry. Fun, fun, fun. Do we have anything else that's been like kind of breaking news? Um, trying to go down the list. Um, NECA dropped the tune street or the yeah, tune dial again. So oh yeah, tune dial. Oh, yeah. We all we we're all everybody's been waiting for that. So tune dial's back. Um what do you have? You have two? Yeah. Are you getting another one? Yep. No, you did order one already, right? You showed okay. us. Um I I don't have room for another one. I've already got four dioramas, so I might buy another one just because I uh We'll figure it out. <laughs> we should, because you know, once you do get the room, you won't have one. So yeah, I might like just buy it for to keep it in pieces, and then when I want to like do photos, I can use it as walls and a la yeah, carte it instead of building it. Because that's that's the problem I have now. I bought four. I bu I got the I got four different ones, and they were supposed like they're all supposed to be like four photos, and now they're just covered with figures. So. Can't even use them. Mm. Okay. My yeah. last Ronin one's pretty cool though. I take that. I, I take all the figures off that every once in a while. I'll take photos. But you made that one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's the. It's the same as the uh, last year San Diego one, and okay. New York one. Almost. Fair enough. Almost. So that's fine. All right. Cool. What else? Oh, Super Seven. That the the missing wave wave seven finally showed up. So did you see Cody's video or too much? Too I probably I've seen a couple of them. Um, I did talk to him about it today a little bit. Yeah, the metal had quality is QC issues. Oh, is, is it the legs again? The joints. The joints. Yeah, yeah. The, the the leg joints are fucking. All, we're always bad on that. They just reused it. So I'm not gonna give them a pass. Um, because they've been getting way better. Um, but I'm going to be more nice about how good they've gotten and that I think that these were in production with whomever they were working with before that has taken so long, which is why they're shit. Do you think the 2003 Turtles will be better? Yeah, because I'm almost positive it's a different factory. Okay. Almost positive. It's the new, it's whoever the new people are doing it. I haven't even talked to Kyle about what they changed on it, but you don't collect Super 7. I do. And anybody out there that collects Super 7, it's a stark difference between like that Samurai Leo line, that wave they did, and then anything that came out after that, like the Slam Dunk and Donnie, um, the metal had, uh, the metal, um, not the Bebop, the fucking one that's in the that's that was shared earlier today. Fucking god damn it, Rock Study. I mean, think of the damn name. Mm. Um, it, it, it night and day, Wing Nut and Screw Loose, Genghis Frog. I'm looking at the ones that are on my floor right now. The new Mikey, like that San Diego Mikey, Scumbug, uh, Scratch the Cat, like all of those figures, night and day difference. Absolutely, like worth the the, the money. But for these ones, um, I was hyped for Punker Don and Gorilla Gorilla. And yeah. Punker Don looks great, but Cody, I think, pretty, if I understood, Cody said the joints suck on him. His yeah. legs suck. The new Leo, which I don't have, the rocker Leo, Tom has, and he's amazing. And then Punker Don just, I guess, missed the fucking boat. But then, like, Gorilla Gorilla was the one that I wanted the most out of the set. And... I understand the renders, but the fucking paint on the face is not doing it for me. 
it looks like it's missing so much depth. It just looks like a clear tan. Really? They kind of, kind of look cool to me. I'm not getting them, but it kind of look cool to me. Oh, dude, I uh, like I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me having the high expectations from what I saw. Them? No. Oh. I didn't get them. Um, I don't even have the other way with like the Rock or Leo. Okay. So, I'm just scrolling through right now. Um. Yeah, and then like the 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 Mikey that Metalhead Mikey, Matt Matt finish. Really? Couldn't even hit it with a fucking gloss finish. So, I just I can't I, I'm having trouble with it. I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna have the say that thing I don't like and be like, I'm gonna wait till fucking he's on clearance. That Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying over twenty eight bucks for him. That's my number. Okay. I'm just, it's a repaint and I want it because I'm a completionist on that line. I like the way they display. They're really cool. Can't, like, it can't do it with the QC issues and then just missing the mark. That metalhead Mikey can't do it. The robotic Bebop looks cool. Still the kind of same issue. He looks more of just black, black metal. Doesn't really have any gloss to him. Not really any metallic shine. It bothers me. Because even the the beep, the um, the rock study has the metallic shine. I'm surprised that people buy Super Seven Ninja Turtles because they're, they're good for the most part. <laughs> I haven't I haven't met anybody that's a more positive than negative. Well, yeah, it's just a thing where like they're whatever they're they. I'm pretty sure they had to switch factories. Whoever was doing it before, like originally, was not good. Like. I don't know, man. It was not good. As someone that deals with factories and then having to switch to other factories for the same product we made and it gets made better, like it had to have been a switch. They had to have done it. There, because there is a stark difference between like the first couple waves and what we get now. It's like a redemption okay. song, you know. It's it's so much redemption story, not a song. What the fuck am I saying? Um, <laughs> they're just so much better now. But that has to be like an old way. That has to be the old, an old manufacturer. It's, they're not good. Got it. That kind of makes sense, but still. Yeah. Untalked about. Oh, yeah. These fucking guys. So we've got Leonardo coming. They kind of look alienish to me, though. Yeah. Long arms and shit. Mickey. Our boy Mickey. <laughs> not Mikey. Mickey. Mickey. Donnie, which is really cool, and then Raph. So these are being made by Memory Toys, I believe, is the actual who's actually making them. Even though they got like 13 different goddamn names or something that seem to be associated with this. Um, so yeah, these are going to be coming out. Uh, you're do you know anything about Memory Toys? Zero. Okay, I collect Memory Toys, um, very similar to Hero Toys. They are a Chinese designer company. They do a lot of unlicensed stuff. Well, this is unlicensed. This is licensed. Oh, wow. This is right on the bottom, TMNT. Like, these are okay. licensed. Yeah. So okay. um, this goes back to the last, last episode we did with me, the value proposition, remember? So these are probably going to be 80 bucks. These are going to be nine inches tall, I believe, close to the Heat Boys, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I missed that. I know the Heat Boys, which we'll get to, are nine inches. Um, but these, if these are like the figures I already own and they're under a hundred bucks, it's just another one of those situations where you're getting something that feels far more premium than what you get we what we've been getting with Mezco. I but I just wish they looked better. I mean, what do you want them to look like? We've already got everything else. <laughs> it's gotta be a little yeah, different. Yeah, but I mean, like the other brand, the other Chinese brand that just really Shredder and who was? It? Oh Bebop. yeah, Joy Joy Toy. Yeah, I mean that's two thousand three Shredder. True, it it still looks badass, but they're the super tiny. Toys. They're smaller, smaller yeah, than the so small. I've got the turtles on the way. Um, 
So they'll be here soon. So I'm going to have the turtles to review here. Soon. I'm actually, but, I'm thinking about getting those to be honest. So they're tiny. They look cool, but like, these are cool. These are going to move great. They're going to feel great. The plastics. They the remind me of AI great. turtles. Yeah, they are very AI esque. I know. I know what you mean. They're, I think they're just they're just more mature turtles. You know, like in a sense, longer arms, more mutated. They do have articulated toes, which is kind of cool. If you haven't noticed, there are little pins right there. Um, these joints are pinless, though. They come in. They, they're pinless joints, but the toes are not pinless. But these are a lot of fun do looking. You, do you think NECA is gonna do pinless turtles? Yeah, they're already doing them. Well, I mean, like the bros. Yeah, I, I, they're, they're that's how they're going to re-release them for people to buy them again. Okay. These uh these do a good job right here though. As I'm a thigh cut kind of guy, look how that thigh cut goes up and blends in. I see. See that nice little blend. Yeah. I like that. I like that thigh blend. Looks good. These will be good. These will be fun. I'm excited for those. You're gonna get them. Um, if they're under a hundred dollars per turtle, most likely. Okay. What I would rather have are the Heat Boys turtles. Oh, they're nice. I have Leo. But no, the new Heat Boys turtles. So. Oh, Shredder. No, hold on. Um, let's see. Did Cody post him. Did, did too much new toys post them? Of course, this fucking dingus and his goddamn videos. <laughs> Just give me give me photos, dude. All right, here we go. All right, so we know the size of the Heat Boys figures. Least more pictures from Wonder Festival. Uh, so, <laughs> 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 so these are the new Heat Boys turtles. You can kind of see in the background that there's a drawing, um, sketch idea of what they're going to look like. Um, this is Leo with multiple looks on him. 9.055 inches. Thank you for doing the fucking math for us. Um, but these are the new Heat Boys Turtles. That's the old Heat Boys Turtles. Mm. Uh, what's, what, 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 where's his foot? Is he missing his foot? Um, but these are nine inches. So these look really cool. These are going to be a lot of fun. I'm more excited about these myself. Have you seen these? No. I got to go look those up. I mean, I've... Oh. I've seen him scrolling, but I haven't really looked at him. Yeah. He's got two boxing gloves. You got swappable hands that are boxing gloves. Uh, oh. My only concern about these is if they're going to be the Heat Boys price. They will be. You going to spend 180 bucks on one of these? If the, if the quality is there, yes. I mean, the quality for the Leo that I have, amazing. If it's Dream Effects quality, yes. If it's not Dream Effects quality, I'm not breaking 100 bucks for a 9-inch figure. I would agree with you. Simple as that. Agreed with you. That's badass. Heat Boy Shredder. It's a lot of plastic. Yes. I'm going to be getting it. A lot of plastic. Is there anything else that he, that he shared we can just steal from? Hmm. Oh, there's the Joy Toy. Yeah, that's the uh, shredder and the dude. Foot soldiers are top tier, best recreation of foot soldiers I've ever seen in my opinion. And that's just 03 shredder. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, yeah. If these joy toys that I get, which I'm familiar with joy toy, um, with the warhammer stuff, and Cody is too. Cody's been really big into the warhammer scene with these. Um, if these are the quality I expect. Um, out of Joy Toy and the range of motion that I expect out of Joy Toy, I will get the rest of the line. Um, okay. Very similar to the Fury Toys, Fur Furay or Fur I think yeah. Fury, the Turtles, the Unlicensed Turtles. Um, I don't think those have a lot of great articulation. These do. Okay. So I'm going to get them. Hopefully, like, Entertainment Earth or uh, uh, the last Toy Store will get it, get them to resell them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've ordered like Joy Toy is more of like 5K Gun Damn It. Yeah. Um, you know those kinds of like those kinds of vert like, figures. You know what I mean? Um, 
let's do i'm gonna do a new a new little segment like let's let's expand a little bit before we talk about my fun stories uh and uh before we get into the stories we gotta pause real fast we'll be right back all right and we're back <laughs> once again as i'm winded running back up and down the stairs um I had to go get one of my dogs because the other dog is doing dog things. Um, so, okay. So we were going to talk about um, some other cool toys because we talked about this in that one episode with the value prop, right? Right. But like, we forgot to talk about Wayne. Everybody wants Wayne um, as played by none other than Adam Driver. <laughs> Freaking Kylo Ren himself got some cool accessories. Uh, street pals, Adam. I don't know what any of that means, but I guess this is going to be not Casey Jones. Yeah, that is pretty Driver cool, after, baby. So cool. That's you know, a full cool. offering. I'm sorry, looks neat. You don't like it. I mixed. Okay. I mean, I've got Mezco, so. Well, yeah. You got April. I don't like it. Look at her. That's I don't April. Like it. And Lucy. <laughs> Great stitch work on that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, here's some more photos. We got these. Check these out. So we got all the accessories. We didn't have a good shot of that. Everyone, I'm sorry. It's kind of kind of small. small. Yeah, um, but that's just what happens. I'm on an ultra wide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the two extra facial expressions, the hat, all that stuff. We were talking about these. Raphael's got three facial expressions. Um, we got the original top wrap. Can't for everybody to bitch about that. Um, look at the hands. Holy shit! Look, I got got the, like love or something. Maybe I try to match, match oh, that's those hands. Jeez. Yeah, I got, got the shaka bra, got the thumb and the pinky, um, extra heads, bunch of accessories. Looks like we got a lot of like accessory reuse, and a lot of these are very similar. Um, same with Mikey here. We got the flaming nunchucks, which are sick as hell. So these are going to be great. I, I I hope these are eighty or below. Nice. So those are going to be fun. Um, there's a, there's a group shot of them. Got the mouser on the back. Look at that. It's a little yeah, cool. great detail. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah like, I could, could do something like that. Yeah. I'm excited. I got this guy on pre order, I believe. <laughs> More anthropomorphic animals. Look at this crab man. Mm. Be able to fight the turtles, the crab man. Look at that. Not, not a bebop. Yeah, definitely not to be Bob. Sun Wukong. Insane. Like, absolutely insane, some of these figures. It, it sucks when you like all this cool stuff. Because it's not just turtles for me. Like, I got this bitch on pre-order. Look at that. How much was is he going to be? I think he was like, I think he ended up being like 110 with everything. Because I okay. also got the imp. So the imp is extra. This is him by himself. It's an undead from World of Warcraft. Okay. Uh, undead warlock. And the imp was like an add-on as well. So um, I have a bunch of the figures. I love the Warcraft line that they do. The unofficial Warcraft line. So just really fun stuff. Very cool. I think I saw this one earlier today too. Let's see. There's like a little... Uh, this guy is really fun. You like a crab, like crab back? I don't know what the hell this thing is. Interesting. Super sick. Yeah, man. This this toy show that's going on over in is it Japan right now? Just blowing my damn mind. Like all these figures can go into your turtles collection. Yeah, it's awesome. So, all right. What's next? We're at 44 minutes. <laughs> well, you said you well, let's make it 60 minutes and let's uh wrap up with your story. Okay. So 
not turtles related. Uh, Gary Dolan story time. Stupid shit. So, as I've said multiple times, uh, I work for Bull Airs, and one of the things that I do there is I work with factories to get stuff made. And our clothing factories are in Pakistan. <laughs> so, um, one of the ongoing themes with this is everybody knows everybody. Everybody seems to be cousins of somebody else and doing the business, which is not you know derogatory. I'm saying like legitimately, whenever we talk to another factory, it's a, somehow someone's cousin. Um, <laughs> and they're all trying to steal each other's work. Right. So a year ago, Tom used to work, work with this company and this was May of last year. And that guy's cousin slipped into Tom's DMS it's like, hey, we want to do work for you. It, it, it will do it cheaper. Cool. So that guy then got the opportunity to do our stuff, who we're currently working with right now, but is a fucking nightmare. They got like, a good like six months on their on their production stuff, and then they just turn into like a nightmare. Um, so anyway, the original guy found out about this and went over to his house, this other this new guy's house and beat the shit out of him and oh. we know this because he knew he was coming he video called tom and set his camera up and live video called tom as he was getting his ass kicked oh shit right so hilarious like fucking the pakistani mafia and through all this i'm always skeptical it, it's a show it's a ruse Okay. Right. I feel like this money all stays within the family type thing. Cool. So fast forward to now, two day, two three days ago, um, that person recommended the person got the ass kicked had recommended to me a new factory, and that's because we're working with like four or five other factories right now, getting samples done. Actually, working with the guy that beat the shit out of this guy last year again. Like it's a whole fucking thing. Um. And we're doing samples for Chronic Con coming up. So we have a license with uh, Kevin Smith. We do Jane Silent Bob, Clerks, Movies, Mall Rats. We got all of it. So we got a whole line dropping in uh, for Chronic Con in a week, a week from tomorrow. And okay. we needed samples in hand to bring with us to the show. No bullshit. I started this in like middle of August. So I had this new guy recommended to me, let him do the samples for you. All right, cool. Well, I don't trust you. You're doing these samples for free for me because I don't, you know, I'm not going to pay for something that's not going to be to our standard. They wouldn't let, they wouldn't do it. So I had to pay for them. So they're all fucked. They're, they look like shit. They're hockey jerseys. They look awful. We mm -hmm. had another guy already make them in a week and they're perfect. So, like, whatever. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, some guy messages Tom. And he goes, hey, I want to make stuff for you. And Tom was like, okay, here's what I need done. And Tom gave him the jerseys. Well, that guy just happened to work for the guy that was making our jerseys. And he oh. stole the samples and got oh. caught stealing them on their security camera. So I get a fucking video of like them scrolling through his phone, showing the conversation with Tom, and then showing like a screenshot of who he is and then I got two videos, which I shared with you, the screenshots in the group chat of him next to his boss holding a sign that had his Instagram tag on it. And he's just like in this uh, and the boss is like explaining that he caught the scammer or some bullshit. And then like the next video is like, hello, I am a scammer. And I'm like, oh, my God, like they're holding this motherfucker like scammer hostage. And like in my mind, I'm like, brother, just tell me you're not sending me the fucking samples. Like, yeah. It's fine at this point. Like, I don't need a goddamn song and dance. I don't right. like if they're not good because they have to be here by October 5th in my hands by Saturday from Pakistan. And they've had almost two months to do them. You're not going to get them. So like well, he sent me a tracking label yesterday, whether or not it's been activated, it's actually in the mail is beyond me. There's no way you're going to get it. 
but like Time. yeah but like i need them by saturday like that that was the deadline i always gave them october 5th i said end of september but the latest was october 5th so i'm like just fucking they, oh my god don't just, just don't send it it's fine like just, just you don't have to like put this dude on blast and like make up this whole fucking this like thing i'm trying to find the screenshots like look at this shit like this is this oh it's so be so bright look at that making him hold up a sign and he just looks so he just looks so mad like yeah oh my god oh you know what i sent it to j shot <laughs> when i was telling him the story earlier <laughs> Um, oh my god, like, dude, it's like, oh my, <laughs> so when people are like, give me shit because, like, I'm just frustrated with the whole goddamn process of just getting clothes made properly, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Um, yeah, you're not getting your stuff on time. I'd be shocked. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. Wow. Strike over. Oh. God. God workers union agree to suspend strike until January 15th next year. Put the headlines up. So that means toilet paper will be fine. That was already going to be fine. It was not effective. I know. Um, what that means is. The bull mags that are being shipped to us next week are not affected because <laughs> we're mm -hmm. gonna, they come in on the east coast, eastern shore dock workers. Like that's that's where they come. So if you're waiting for some light of bull mags from us, <laughs> not affected. Yeah, you do air next time. No, no, more money. No, more money. No, um, but hey, cool. There's our breaking news. Anything else we got to go over while we're uh, while we have me. Um, here to do it. Just trying to think. Um, NECA, we talked about uh, the other toy line, the story. I don't think so. Why don't you go on um, Todd's Instagram and see if there's anything? Uh, I'm going to do a shout out on this one. There you so, go. Back to Granite State, cool kids meet up. Uh, thank you to like this is just so cool. You could have been here, you could have been here. There's Evan right there with his old man loafers. <laughs> nah, I saw but, those, yeah. Here's Kathy. Um, there's a uh, oh my god, I'm Ethan, Ethan's for second time around comics. Uh, Steve Levine, Kevin, Eric Talbot, Ken Metroni, uh, Michael Dooney. I'm blanking on his name. I feel like an asshole, but I buy vintage figures from him <laughs> all the time okay. when I'm doing conventions. Jim Lawson, uh, Ben Baldwin, who runs the CKC, and then I'm going to catch shit for not knowing these three guys. So it's I okay. probably know who they are. I don't know him either, so that's all right. So, yeah, that was such an awesome thing. That was a group meetup. I think it's the only photo I posted. Yeah. Wow. I think it is, yeah. Cool. But yeah, and then I had that signed. Pretty yeah, cool. that I'm jealous of for sure. Pretty cool. I'll pull that back down real fast. Just realize there's stuff that shouldn't be seen on there. Um, so, all right, cool. So, yeah. Very nice. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, these are shipping too. Yeah, you did a review on those. I did. I did. I've been drinking a lot of these. Um, I don't like cold brew and fucking marketing, man. You throw a turtle on it, I'm gonna like it, I guess. I don't know fucking know. I've been drinking it. I call I uh texted Ethan. I was like, need more rafts. <laughs> Give me more raff. Need more raff. I do need more raff. I'm uh I am now addicted. Good. I'm very excited. I was trying to see if there's anything else. Nothing else. That's it. Cool. Sensei steers, ten dollars off at bullers.com right now. They're only 90 bucks. <laughs> there's a work plug. Please. I have so many of them. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, they did not do well. 
<laughs> okay. So they look nice. They're really nice. They're insanely comfortable. Uh, this just happened to be a photo as I was scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from April 10th. Those aren't even the finals. Holy shit. Um, but they're awesome. So like they're they're actually comfortable as fucking shit. So I love them. Cool. But that's it, man. Uh, appreciate y'all as always jumping in. Episode 41, 55 minutes. Cool. Yeah. And um, hopefully we got everybody some cool news this week. We're trying to mix it up so it's not always fucking toys. Always toys yeah. with us. Yeah, right? Toys, toys, toys. Yeah. But, all right, man. Thank you as always. <laughs> I'll see ya. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>